What's up, Copilot crew? April here, and welcome back to another episode of Copilot Chronicles. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of Copilots, the art and science of prompting. If you've ever wondered, how do I interact with this thing? You're in the right place. So what's a prompt? Well, in the world of co-pilots, which as we learned in the previous episode, use large language models, a prompt is like a question or a command that you give your AI to guide its response. Think of it as a steering wheel for your co-pilot. But here's the thing, how you frame your prompt matters, like a lot. A well-framed prompt can be the difference between an answer that's kind of helpful, or maybe not even really helpful, and an answer that's spot on. So let's break it down. I'll give you four things to consider to craft a good prompt. First, be specific. Vague prompts lead to vague answers. If you want the best out of your co-pilot, you need to narrow down your request. So say we're trying to craft a prompt for Dolly to create an image. And we know we want an image of a cat. If you just put in, make me an image of a cat, who knows what you're going to get? There's so many variations of types of cats, so many different types of styles of images you can ask, and just too many variables at play to probably get what you want by that vague request. But if you say something more detailed, like I want a hyper-realistic image of a tabby cat in an opera theater wearing a tuxedo, then you're more likely to get what you want. The second tip here is to provide context. So some of these co-pilots might not have memory of your past conversations. So if you're looking for a continuation or deeper insights, provide some recap or background. Now, sometimes I use this to tell the co-pilot and large language model how I want it to act. So if I'm wanting to get ideas on building a power app, I might put in a prompt that gives some background of how I want the co-pilot to act. So something as simple as, I want you to use your many years of experience as a power platform expert and consultant to guide me in creating a power app that's accessible, responsive, and intuitive to track invoices. Now the next one is probably the most important one, and that is to iterate. If you didn't get the answer you want, remember your three R's. Rephrase, reframe, and retry. Sometimes just a simple, slight little tweak can yield much better results. And the last tip here is to avoid overloading. Now this might seem counterintuitive when I just said to be very specific and provide context, but you don't wanna to be too verbose. Overloading your prompt with too much information can confuse the output. So balance is really key here. And you might be wondering why is prompting so important? Well, because my friends, while AI is incredibly advanced, it is still a tool. And like any tool that we have, whether it be different software we use, hardware, its success all depends on how we use it. When working with these co-pilots that are powered by large language models, prompts are like your magic wand. It's your way of channeling the vast knowledge and capability of these models into actionable insights. The biggest tip that I can give you here in terms of prompts and working with these co-pilots is to practice. The more that you engage with these large language models and interact with these co-pilots and put in your prompts, the more likely you'll be able to craft a prompt that gives you a bullseye. I mentioned this in the previous episode, but these co-pilots and large language models are evolving rapidly. So who knows, we might even get to a day in the near future where prompts are less and less important and we can use more natural language to natively get what we need out of these co-pilots. But as of right now, prompts are still very important. So hopefully the tips that I provided will help you craft better prompts. Are you ready to start mastering the art of prompting? I'd love for you to share your experiences, tips, and maybe even some fun responses that you got from AI as a result of your prompts in the comments. If you enjoyed this dive into prompting, hit that like button to show some love and subscribe for more episodes of Copilot Chronicles. Well, that's all that I have for you. Until next time, keep prompting, keep exploring, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible with AI and Copilots. pilots